This is video uh, fix uh, how to fix the motor if it's got a sand in there or it got stuck. Um, so I search through the many of the forums and I do not find anywhere the positive comments. Everyone say if there's got a sand inside motor then it's all dead. So apparently I decided to do this quick uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, so I did fix it myself and I want you guys to fix it as well and explain you step by step. So in our case, somehow, uh, I'm very careful, but somehow the piece of sand get inside this motor and it's basically get stuck. So the problem is when the sand get inside the motor, as you can see, a uh, very small fine space between um, the coils and the magnets and extremely fine. So if you got a sand and you try to run the system, you'll cre create a sort of paste that will even going to be stuck. You will, it will be like a creaking, but you will feel there is a motor that barely going back and forth. So what you need to do in this case, um, I'll do the step by step. So first of all, remove all four propellers. Make sure you got that, you probably know the position of them. The one with the line right here. See this little line right here. Uh, they are the ones with the line, keep them separate. So I got, uh, one time I have installed them incorrectly. That was a long time ago on my first drone and I got an issue. Okay, remove those guys. Uh, the next step, you will need to remove the cover for the motor. Okay, and the cover for the motor is located on the back. There are sort of, um, not a plastic, but kind of foamy cover. So easy can be catched up by our small blade, just like this. And honestly, it take me about, what, 30 minutes to fix all this. Uh, the next step, you will need to lose um, these two bolts right here. One at the bottom and uh, one at the top. Why you need to do so? If you flip your drone upside down and you try to run it, you're going to have a system error over here. Let's turn this thing on, I'll show you. So basically the motor is down, you can you can fix it, but um, here, make sure you remove the gable head cover as well, because you're gonna have a um, problem, let me show you. So here's the fir first couple errors you will see. RC not connected, there you go, got it. Let's see the first error, it says, EMU attitude error. So, because the drone is upside down. So that's why we keep them like this. And in order to work with this foot, we do our arm, we do have to lose it. So right now, this error is gone, take off with caution. So it's all ready to go. And um, what you need to do, you need to have like uh, alcohol swan. I use this uh, denaturator alcohol. I'm not sure if someone's gonna say uh, that I'm too smart to do so. I don't care, it worked on me and um, I have no issue using this ever. Let me fix it for you and show you. I got a bunch of little stuff over here, my knife connection collection. So I try to make this thing much more easier for myself and let's put this cup with a alcohol and dive this thing inside. So don't make sure don't use water because you're going to have a lot of issues. So you might going to have uh, spills that go out of there. So you might want to put a little bit of tape on the back. Uh, so I know it's kind of looks spooky, but we need that to be fixed. So it's all ready to go and we can take off by uh, either using this button or going these two down. Okay, let's go and use this one because I can't use my two fingers. There you go. A little bit of messy, but um, I don't have a mess before. So let's put the pause because I cannot use one hand only. 
What you can do, you can use two fingers to start the unit. Gosh. Okay, gotta use another hand. Hold on. So, start it. So it's running. And now it's at the rates. It does not work before at all. So it got stuck. And you can get this thing in. I wish I had more space to show you. Okay, it is 100% clean and I run it so many times, let it dry and I'll put it together. So that's basically what you have to do. And let me finish it, put all together and I'll show you how that is working. So before this I have error that is stated, uh, the motor gets stuck. Okay. Okay, next one is uh, we're going to be fixed the uh, arm. Gotta put it back. Okay, got it. We will use a heater gun. Sorry guys, there's only a few hands available. There we go, we got a back side covered. And protect it very well. Okay. Now it's a free, freely spinning. So I will show you what we got inside. Of course, this is the whatever is the fresher stuff I did for you, but you can see the little piece of sand underneath, under, underneath. And the very first one was like almost like a brown. Like there's all got as old this dust accumulate inside so you can see them on the side of the wall as well lots of sand see all those particles right there so and you can change the alcohol a couple times and let me try this one so we'll get off connected take off discussion all right it works let's do it again Things work just fine. So there is a fix for it, and I'm glad I was able to share this with you guys. And you can run the speed up a little bit. There we go. Let's do it again. My hands is. I simply installed joysticks to make it easier.
so works is awesome okay now we put everything together and we're going to be tested and again this is not for everyone if your fan is using way too bad or you just get the replacements because that's uh, too much responsibility so please be careful okay get this thing connected real quick all right and let's test it this better almost done unable to take off compass calibration required take off discussion there you go In our cases all work thanks so much for watching video subscribe and share